Hello, uh, my name is Mr. Keller and I'm the Head of Science at Lutterworth College and if you're watching this short Loom video you're hoping to find out a bit more information about the difference between combined science and triple science in your option choices going from year 8 into year 9. Now the first thing to realise is that every student at Lutterworth College studies science in year 9 and also that there is the same amount of time in the timetable whether you're studying combined science or triple science. Now in the past every student studied triple science but some students found the study of triple science too challenging so we've now given a alternative um, choice to doing science in year nine which is called combined science. So combined science how is it different to triple science? Now, the first thing to say is how it is the same. You cover virtually the same basic content, whether you're doing combined science or triple science. So you still do biology, chemistry and physics in combined science, but you don't do it to the same level. The main difference between the two science paths is that the combined science has actually less content and it has the easier, the, let's call it the more fundamental content. So it's still a good course to take, but it's not going to prepare you sufficiently if you want to go on to do A-level, whether you want to do A-level biology, A-level physics, or A-level chemistry. Don't choose combined science if you want to further your science career. Now, triple science, students choosing to study triple science will typically be what we call academic, self-motivated, committed and hard-working. Now because there's no additional curriculum time, whether you're doing combined science or triple science, it means that because you're having to do more uh, content and often harder content, students who take triple science say that the pace is faster. You, the, what, the way that the teachers cover the material and the lessons is faster. We can't afford to spend as much time in the lessons going over everything so you have to be reasonably quick at picking up the content and understanding it. So it actually puts a lot more demand on you. And a way that we have made it easy to help decide what's a, what's a tipping point about where the grades boundary um, falls to help choose the right path is that if you're predicted at least a grade four in year eight, you can consider to take triple science. If you're not going to get a grade four, I would strongly advise not taking triple science. Now here's, here's the next thing you can do. If you're still unsure, um, ask. Students, who, or students or parents who are unsure of what path to take should be either asking their current science teacher who will know you know, because they've been teaching you in year eight, they should know what your science capabilities are. And if you want a second opinion, you can still contact me at jkeller at lutterworthcollege.com. Or if you can, ask a student that you know in year nine, 10 or 11, what they would have done if they had a chance to choose again. Because we all want to help make this very important decision and make the best decision for your son and daughter. I hope this has helped. If you're still unsure, please don't hesitate to ask. Thank you very much. Goodbye.